Call me by your name. What? So a neighbor of mine comes frantically knocking on my door and asking me all sorts of questions about little Nas X. Now, mind you, I have no idea who little Nas X is, nor have I ever listened to any of his music. I'm into 90s music and I think the 90s had music, what you call music. Okay, fine, maybe the 80s, the 70s as well. But I think the 90s kind of like take the cup when it comes to music. So, coming to this video that everybody has been ranting about. As been my own siblings have asked me what do I think about Little Nas X and at first I was like, I only know Nas. I mean, obviously I would know Nas because I listen to 90s music and rap. I listened to, I did watch the video, in fact I watched it about three or four times and the reason why I watched it three or four times is because I wanted to see this hullabaloo or this shocking video everybody is talking about. In life, we hide the parts to ourselves that we don't want the world to see. We lock them away, we tell them no, we bash them, but here we don't. Welcome to Mantero. And uh, I thought, wow, those words ring true to a lot of things in particularly people in the LGBTQIT community. And I thought, okay. Um, then I discovered that actually, indeed, he is part of the LGBTQIT community. And I was like, oh, okay. Now that makes sense. And I'm a person, like I said, who looks on the both side of the coin. And I don't harbor any prejudices, judgments, and all these stuff that oppresses and suppresses people to living the truth. And secondly, I discovered that that song, Call Me By Your Name, is number one on iTunes and number one on Spotify. So clearly, it's a song that is winning. And I thought to myself, okay, I want to touch on the backlash that he's been getting, especially coming from Christians. Uh, because number one, I'm a little bit confused uh, why Christians are on this bandwagon of giving Little Nas X the attention. Because I can tell you one thing that this, that this guy did. Obviously, he and his team, they sat down, brainstormed the next big video or the next big song. And they wanted to tap into uh, people's nerves. He accomplished that to gain as much attention as possible resulting in making millions and millions of dollars he has accomplished that and thirdly he wanted uh, to start up a conversation which he has also accomplished because everybody seemingly is talking about little Nas X so he's getting all this free airtime I'm not a person that believes in fearing God because why fear a person that loves you and the person that you love as well so this whole fear of God thing is not my thing and I will never teach any of my children to fear God but I will teach them that God loves you and then you ought to love God as well not fear him because you don't fear your father why should you even fear your father the only thing that you can do is give him respect period you love him and you respect him not fear him so I don't understand this whole notion that you need to fear God and making God look as though he's this cruel individual that is to be feared that many Christians of today kind of like preach fear God and they also justify these fear of God with scary stuff about God which leaves you thinking is God really loving caring because what I'm being told he is a monster this video also kind of like reminded me about the debate uh, about the debate between uh, creationism and uh, evolution and I thought hmm 
This is very interesting uh, how people, as human beings, have determined that that's how hell looks like the video uh, Lil Nas X's video had. Like, that's hell. And the red and black color, uh, horns and fork and all that stuff. And yet, no, I've never been to hell, so I wouldn't know how hell looks like. I wouldn't even know if the devil looks red, yellow, pink, or black, or just a clear color. No one knows that, but apparently that is how the devil looks like. I, I've never been to heaven either, so I wouldn't know. When I listened to the song, I thought, hmm, very creative, but it is not something that I would listen to or I would download or buy the record or whatever the case will, um, because that's not the type of music I listen to. Then comes to the video. I thought the video was hilarious. I, I laughed from the beginning to the end. Uh, I did not think anything of the video. At the end of the day, he did mention in his video about how all of these things have shackled him. I think even in the video, you see him uh, being caught, and then he's he's taken to a um, he's taken to the center court where he is judged, and um, and then. The, obviously the judgmental people, I suppose the people on the amphitheater started throwing stones at him. So the scripture that came to mind was 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14, which basically talks about light and darkness. It says, do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? So what I always picked up from this scripture is the fact that what happens in the dark is got nothing to do with me. So if little Nas is a satanic or a devil worshiper, why does that concern you as a Christian when you should be focusing on your own salvation? and fellowship with your own fellow believers. Leave the non-believers to do their own thing because you and them have absolutely nothing in common. So to hear Christians being in the forefront of reacting to Little Nas's video is quite concerning because when you are going to be a Christian and do this sort of reaction, definitely, definitely, you are not going to be uh, Basically, you are going to become judgmental. You are going to say things that you shouldn't be saying as a Christian. Because the question I still have in mind is, what business do you have watching Little Nas X's video? What business do you have with the world when you are in the kingdom of God? Which led me to another scripture in the Bible, Matthew 7 verse 7, I think. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. You have your own sin, you have your own iniquities, so you are not um, excused from what I'm saying. Uh, it could be something else, and we all sin differently. Why point a finger at little Nas X, and yet you're overlooking your own iniquities? That is why I feel like Christians were the ones that were not supposed to have uh, come and climb this bandwagon unless themselves were looking for clout, which I think most of you got, uh, money from YouTube, which I think most of you got, uh, as well as uh, followers and, 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 and gullible people so my question once again is what business do Christians have with Lil Nas X's video? Also his merchandise, those satanic shoes, which I have not touched on. Again, I don't know what is satanic. I don't know who Satan because I've never met Satan. And I don't know what does blood got to do with Satan. I, I'm, am I being told that my blood or our blood is a human race? is synonymous with the devil i'm trying to understand that where is that coming from uh if i decide to put 
a, a drop of blood in my shoe what does that symbolize who said it symbolizes that so i'm a little bit confused about a whole lot of things that i was reading and the reactions from different people uh and even going as far as labeling this as tannic how do you know who told you that let me know educate me i'm willing to learn like i said i'm always willing to learn if i'm ignorant about a certain situation however you must also expect me to ask hard questions i think the business of a christian or a religious person is to mind their own business work on your own salvation because that is what is important I, and i think using children as an excuse for an artist not to express themselves is pretty weak because it says a lot about you as a parent so to say that oh this is going to bad influence my kid as a parent as a parent you are a bad parent why would your child be watching adult youtube ask yourself that question so stop shifting your responsibility onto other people particularly artists and i think little nas answered that question very very well he said it is not his job to cater to your children that's your job and i agree with him 100 percent there focus on growing you and focus on your relationship with god focus on your own salvation and don't judge and finally i challenge you to read first thessalonians 4 verse 11 to 12 basically let me make it easy for you this is what the bible says lead a quiet life mind your own business work with your hands just as we told you you need to work on your own salvation mind your own business mind you your own soul forget another person that is their own responsibility to mind their own business their own salvation so what business do you have going around making reactions about other people's freedom of expressions fellowship like-minded people about things that are going to um, empower us and feed us spiritually in order to please god so thank you for watching i'll see you next time on my next upload goodbye